jihad. Well, before I, I get to the question I really wanted, can you talk a little bit about that very last clip we just saw opening the jar? And j just just talk to us about what that scene means to you. Um, I think jihad is a word that is maybe most uh, used that hasn't been um, translated in, in, say, the newspapers or even, like, academic te textbooks or articles. Um, and it has come to mean something that I feel like is very intense. And I, I think that people who are in the media do not translate it in order to like foreign eyes or other eyes us. I'm not Arab, but like, you know, there's a, a, a lot of the, the problem with the news is that it dehumanizes like all, all, not just Muslims, but other groups of people. Yeah. And we see that all the time. So people don't feel bad like when we die, mm -hmm. basically. Um, it makes it very easy to Jesus. justify other people's, you know, law enforcement agencies or our military's actions, or just a random person who like pushes someone who's like Sikh, you know, in front mm -hmm. of a train because they think they're Muslim or something like that. Um, so jihad, uh, I feel like my friend, this scientist and activist, Hala, she was, um, I mean, a lot of people you can see at the end of this film collaborated with me on, like, words, you know, because I got mm. really, um, like, adamant about sticking to the alphabet. Um, and so the jihad thing is, you know, it means struggle. Um, it certainly doesn't mean, like, usually a physical struggle to open a jar or something mm. like that. Um, but it, it's kind of like the struggle within you to, like, be a good person and, like, live mm. in this world and, like, you know, life is tough. Um, but Hala, this woman, um, when I asked her, she brought up the jar thing because it's kind of like a joke about like you know um like what women can't do like you might n mm. normally ask a guy to help you or something like that so it just harkens back to that like 40 year old film where you know we're just updating like our feminism for like you know people who look like us as well another layer <laughs>